Hello, YouTube! <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Hello, YouTube! Hello, Facebook! Hello, the world overall! I know this doesn't have my intro, my usual intro in it, but whatever. Uh, my name is Morgan Gavin, and this was all my mind. Nope, actually, there are three things on my mind. And I don't feel like walking around. Also... <laughs> my cats. My lovely, lovely, lovely cats. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is, of course, Pokemon Go! Okay. Overall, I would have to say that it is a well thought out app. I mean, it's getting people out and about, getting exercise, until PewDiePie made the hack where you don't need to actually go outside to play Pokemon Go. You just need a drone, a cardboard box, duct tape, and your phone. That's it. Because the internet is a wonderful place. So essentially, it's the Wii all over again, where instead of getting up to move, um, people can just strap their phone to their drone and go fly around and go catch some Pokemon. Um, I was really excited about it, and uh, like I was, I, I literally was excited about Pokemon Go. I was like, yes, uh, I caught a Meowth, I caught a Geodude, I caught a Rattata. A bee free, a butterfly, <laughs> a pidgey, another Zubat. God damn, too many Zubats. Way too many Zubats. And a gold bat. Fucking gold bat. Uh, but, um. Yeah, the, the only thing that was missing for me was the fact that there aren't any Pokemon battles. Yes, there are trainer battles and all that, but the essence of Pokemon is fighting other Pokemon with the Pokemon that you caught by throwing tiny red balls at them. You throw your tiny red balls at Pokemon and they become yours. This is a kid's game. <clears throat> I mean, the whole entire nostalgia behind Pokemon is that you're battling wild Pokemon with the Pokemon that you've uh, caught and trained. And I wasn't able to do that. I, I was really, really excited about the prospect of Pokemon battles. But instead, what we what we've got is a Pokemon catching simulator, not a Pokemon fighting simulator. I mean, I hate to be the one to bring this up. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but... The thing about Pokemon is that you fight Pokemon. You catch Pokemon, and then you fight the Pokemon with the Pokemon. You've caught. You had one job, Niantic. One. And you kind of fucked it up. Granted, it's the most addicting fuck up in the world, but at the same time, you know. What the fuck? What the fuck, Niantic? What the fuck, Niantic? I'm a cat. I want to find a Meowth with another Meowth. Meow meow. I love her. She's cute. She's also really, really fat. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the whole DNC thing. Holy shit. I've never seen, heard so much hate for a candidate ever. And there's like a lot of weird parallel going on here. Because... Trump at his rally was cheered on like absolutely no tomorrow 
And Hillary, however, she was just like, well, I, and then all the audience members decided to shit on her plate. Not even her plate, just, you know, a little bit of shit around the edges. And because it was a really, really nice dinner. And then all of a sudden, what the fuck? Poor Bernie Sanders, man, you know? Fuck. If, uh, this Bert, Bertie Leaf. <sighs> It's just too... Um, it's weird because at Trump's rally, he was, you know, applauded, mind you, by a bunch of ignorant people that don't even realize that if Trump gets elected, he's pretty much going to uh, be a white supremacist asshole. In a nutshell, he's made fear, as Bernie put it, he, fear and bigotry are the cornerstones of Donald Trump's campaign. Ugh. And it's like a battle of, of good versus evil, as in Hillary versus Trump, not, uh, whatever. Uh, but she's going to win, even though, you know, a, a whole shit ton of people are against her. And it's the weirdest thing. It's, it's because of the emails and everything that she's getting all this hate. But she's become the... The democratically... Un, um announced and elected presidential candidate for the Democratic Party and it's in my she is the best person for the job out of all the people that ran for presidency this year I mean there's no doubt about it the email scandal it so what how long are you gonna hold on to that seriously are you if you see her at McDonald's She's like, well, I'd like a happy meal. And the guy behind the counter is like, well, I'd like you to be more c transparent in what the fuck's going on with your emails, bitch. Ah, McDonald's would never stoop that low to asking about one's emails. All right, and the last thing I want to talk about is the Munich shooting and the shooter in general and all that fun bullshit. Um, I haven't really talked about sh shootings much, mass casualty events much in the past, in like a couple of weeks. Because there's no more anger over it. There's no more Sadness. There's no rage. It's just numbness. Numbness about like what could you know what needs to be done, what wasn't done, the causes behind it. I mean, the guy was an 18 year old bullied loner, and he managed to grab himself a couple of submachine guns and just I don't know if someone had just given him a fucking hug and oh is this the uh, I, I'm not going to get into it I'm just oh. to the uh, family's friends and loved ones of the nine people that died you have my sincerest condolences. Even if it doesn't seem like it, that's because I, I'm petting a cat in my lap and I guess that makes me some kind of evil person. Um, but it's like, it's weird. It's weird. And she's a really bad cat. Oh, 
Yes, yes, she is. Um. So moving on from that and all the weirdness that's been going on. In regards to uh, all that fun stuff. Hi. This is she's a fat cat. What's <laughs> about Yeah. Love you too, baby. So it's moving on from that. Um as of I think forty forty eight hours ago, I've officially Resigned from my job as sign waiver for Metro PCS, so that way I can focus on bruh and bruh because bruh. Oh, also, oh. I've been pulling a lot of late nights, like a seriously insane amount of late nights. What else? Uh, my friend, uh, Blake Frazy, you should really check him out on his Facebook page and all that. Uh, <clears throat> he just sent me a concept for his, uh, book called The Five Feeding Families. So, I'm just, uh, helping him out by gussing up his, uh, cover and all that. So if it seems like I'm a bit slow today, I'm just off and I've got plenty of footage uploaded and everything, so there's uh, plenty more stuff I can make, uh, which there's also another thing. Cat, I love you. I love you, baby poo. <laughs> She's like, I want to be in the chat too. But, uh, I've been pulling some seriously late night, early mornings, and my sleep schedule's kind of off, and my hair's kind of messed up, and I'm feeling kind of bitching. I'm gonna pet my cat hat. I'm gonna pet my cat hat. I'm gonna pet, pet, I'm gonna pet my kitty kitty. <laughs> Oh, she's cool. See, this is why you, this is why you watch my stuff. Not because of me. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm the unfunny one. It's, it's because of the cat. Beep, beep, boom. Uh, I need to work on showing a little bit more <laughs> emotion outside. Of, oh my God, it was so sad. And, bah, fuck you, keep starring. Everything else. I mean, I'm actually quite chill. Yeah, you're having fun there. Um, and I just released like a compilation of uh, what amounted to only eight minutes of uh, random clips strung together. I don't know. This, the The story behind that is <gasps> she loves my arm. She's like, as long as you keep petting me, as long as you keep petting me. Uh, oh, shit. Hi. Hi. You're lovely. I love you to death. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you to go fuck off. Okay. God damn. <laughs> but, uh, I've been pulling some late nights and everything, and... Ugh. It's been messing with my sleep schedule. And I got one comment that was like, Dude, you pause too much. I'm like, well, that's because, you know, I want people to know that I'm not, like, on a script. Like, this is genuinely me. This is how I talk. <laughs> there, there, if, if we're talking in person, this is generally how I am. Um, I'm actually a lot quieter and... A lot more reserved and everything else. Actually, fuck it. No, I'm not. Only when, you know, 
people around. It's alright. Yeah, I'm alright. I have lots of coffee and a keyboard and I need to take a nap. <sighs> I'm so tired. I still need to feed the horses and everything else. But, um, I went from 258 to 280 subscribers in the course of like 24 hours or a couple of days. Ever since I posted that video of Vylock, uh, or not of Vylock, but in reply to uh, Vaylock, and that's also what I want to talk about. Um, he's actually been kicking a lot of ass lately, ever since, uh, you know, he, the PewDiePie reached out to him and everything. I, I still don't know what that's all about, but Vaylock, if you're watching this, dude, Pewds has been trying to get in touch with you for the longest time, man. You should, you should check it out. In fact, I'm going to upload this and get started on another video. So. Um, thank you so much for watching, and, uh, as always, boo ba doo ba doo ba doo I'll see you, like a beast, in the next video. Oh my god, that's my sexy hairstyle. Oh, oh, it's like a cowlick, but pathetic. Oh, that's, that's some, that's some next level stuff. Action in the front, business in the back, divorces on the side. All right, that's nothing to cheer about. My hairstyle sucks. Yeah. Happy birthday to